take away the walls from the church. It really helps to envision how little you need. We have done the obvious, which is if you want somebody to have something, you go outside and give it to them. The Outdoor Church is a, uh, a ministry among chronically homeless people in Cambridge. We've been around since 2003. Our mission is very simply to reach those who wouldn't get to the church otherwise. Rather than wait inside for them to show up when they won't, we decided to just simply go outdoors and meet people where they were. It's not limited to chronically homeless people, though that's who we set out to, to minister to. Regular Sunday starts at about 9 a.m. Our congregation usually has started to gather just outside the entrance to the tea station. The service will start and we invite people to share a reflection on the scriptures. We share prayer requests and then we have communion. The next event we have every Sunday is the one o'clock service of prayer and communion and that happens in Cambridge Common. After the one o'clock service ends, um, Jed and Pat do a, an afternoon of street outreach. All of us take sandwiches and juice and socks around Harvard Square in big coolers and knapsacks. We always want to be out there no matter what the, the weather is, is like because we believe that consistency is really important for people whose lives are so shattered we determined early on, very first thing, that if we were going to go out there, we were not going to do it for four weeks or five weeks and then disappear. If we were going to go out there and say that the church is faithful, then we had to be faithful. I very much understand the message of Jesus to be pay attention to the people you're not paying attention to. I think we do pure church. We don't have to worry about buildings or endowments. We're just out there doing what Calvin said a church was. I mean, two or three gathered together to hear the word preached and discussed and to administer the, and receive the sacraments. That's it. That's all we have to do and that's all we do. That and a lot of sandwiches seem somehow to be a complete church experience. What I've noticed in being a part of the church for about four years is uh, just how it changes the church experience by having it outdoors. All of a sudden that panhandler wasn't the guy sitting in front of Dunkin Donuts, he was the guy who was taking communion next to me. It's a luxury in a way to, for the church to be outdoors. That's not just one thing we do, that's what we do. That's, that's our name, we're the Outdoor Church.